Hello everyone, welcome to another Christmas Day countdown. Alright, so today we are on to six days before Christmas. Now, so far, if you have been following me, you would know what we were, we've been about, right? So we've been discussing tips and ways that we could, we, you know, we could help you cope with this whole holiday season especially if things are not going you know as you want them in your life so today i was thinking i wonder what i want to talk about with um with my readers with my viewers with my listeners um and then i thought okay let's talk about self-love self-awareness all right so yesterday we talked about financial health and before that, we spoke about physical health. And we also spoke about inner peace and the gift of giving and starting a new project. So each each of uh, my thing focused on something else that I thought will be of a little bit of inspiration today to um to you. So today I um let's talk self-love. When we hear the word self-love. Things come to mind like cherishing ourselves, buying ourselves pretty stuff, looking good, taking care of ourselves, going for a, like a, a holiday, a, a plane a ride, those kind of things. Oh, but sometimes, some of us, we keep saying that we are on the path to self-love, uh, but we find that we're not making progress. Why? Because sometimes there is something missing besides trying to love ourselves. How about self-awareness? Now, some of us, there are some of us who are not so self-aware. And self-awareness is something that we have to always work on. And what is really self-awareness? It's being aware of your thoughts at any given time and being a being aware of what is happening around you other people who are in your life and these things now how how does self-awareness help you in thorn in terms of um self-love now the thing is we have to be able to guard our minds guard our hearts the bible tells us that for out of it everything flows right and our thoughts eventually become our actions and our actions over time become our habits have you ever like you're there you're happy you probably woke up in the middle of the night you're happy you're feeling happy and all of a sudden you your mind just start you just deliberately you just chose to just start thinking about something sad and then you start crying and then you think about something more sad and then you it's just and your entire mood just mess up right like that. Have you ever, have that ever happened to you? Well, it has happened to me. And sometimes, you know what? It used to be a chronic problem with me. Always not being able to mess up my happiness by just thinking one unwanted negative thought. And I used to think that I couldn't help it. So sometimes I'll be there and I'll just start thinking about something sad and then I'll start crying. But I'm saying to you that just because things may be happening to you doesn't mean that you always have to be sad, depressed, and unhappy. At any given moment, you and you alone have the power to make yourself happy regardless of what is happening around you and that is all, why i always say when when you experience a stressful situation it's okay to vent you don't have to go on social media and vent it all there are some things that you might vent in the private privacy of your home you because we do it we do it right so you vent and you get it off your chest and then you make a deliberate effort and you, you say, you know what, I am going to think on something else. Sometimes it may mean listening to something, uh, it may mean getting involved in an activity or even taking a walk, something like that. Swimming, going to the beach, reading a book 
uh, watching a funny video or something and your, you, you see your mind, your thoughts start going in a different shift, right? So that is part of self-love. Self-love is guarding your mind so that you do not allow toxic to thoughts to become habits. Because when you, when you have toxic thoughts in your mind, you cannot truly love yourself. Because you are sharing your mind, your lo lovely thoughts in a space with negative stuff. And if you really look at it, negative stuff sometimes, they tend to get to the point where they, they outweigh the positive stuff. Even when you look around us, there's so many, so many um, things. So, so negative stuff sometimes, it, 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 it spreads, it's more contagious sometimes right because if you keep thinking about it thinking about it thinking about it thinking about it and you don't give yourself a break eventually you become bitter you you become a killjoy it's like you people around you trying to cheer you up and you just so always grumpy always gruffy you never know when yeah and you know what when you are like that ain't nobody want to be around you you're killjoy some people, you, just as you see their face, it's always, not, although it's not really good to judge people by their faces, but sometimes when you see certain people's face, you just have a different mood. People react and respond more positively to somebody who has a pleasant face. And though I'm not saying to trust every smile, you know, I'm saying that, sometimes it's okay to smile give your ment your mental health a break your mental health affects your physical health and just because you're going through stuff doesn't mean that you always have to kill yourself with it what we are experiencing now in 2020 and what we've experienced since around March some of us from January depending on where you're living has not been ordinary and so you have to be able to go within you and become aware of your thoughts don't go thinking about negative things about you may have you may be in a relationship and the person doesn't give you any cause to think negatively now if you had problems in the past you might tend to portray them onto the person and instead of living within that moment you're busy trying to analyze their every mood and sadly whatever you think becomes reality it took me a long time to realize that that whatever you think will become your reality because your perception shapes your reality right so loving yourself means giving yourself a break becoming self-aware and so when you start thinking those negative those unwanted thoughts those thoughts that that don't feel so good break break that thought and replace it with something pleasant Paul in the Bible said whatever is lovely whatever is beautiful I think he said also whatever is honorable whatever is pure and we could add to that it to the concept think of the think on these things because he knew that despite his tribulation in order for him to get through that he had to be able to focus on beautiful things because when you focus on beautiful things, when you focus on the positive things in your life, your reality is able to transform. Not because the situation has changed, but because you have changed the way that you thought about the situation. Right? So that's it for today. So this is not just for the Christmas holiday. So maybe you are single, maybe you're alone, maybe you're thinking, okay, I don't have any family and you're feeling all sad. But I'm saying to you, there are other ways to connect. 
connect online connect um if there's somewhere that you can visit go visit create those beautiful experiences i don't have uh, i won't be going anywhere but i decided i was gonna do this christmas countdown and just you know make myself happy i'm sharing with you some of some people may not get it some people may get it and but I, you know i enjoy what i'm doing and so i'm just challenging you to create your experiences all right so that's it for our six days to christmas countdown six days to christmas countdown see you uh, on our another uh Count down five days to Christmas. That's tomorrow, God's willing. All right. Have a great day.